Aloha and welcome back. So we're going to crack into question 3b of the statistics mock exam for distributions. So last page. 4.8% of fleeces are rejected by buyers because of defects. Find the probability that exactly three fleeces are rejected in each of two separate batches of 50 fleeces from different farms, stating any assumptions you make. So from different farms, stating any assumptions that you make. So there's a lot packed into this question, eh? To get started, first identify the variable of interest. So what's the thing that we're actually counting? We're going to call that x. So let x be, let x represent, and we're counting, counting what? We're counting the number of fleeces that get rejected. So let x represent the number of fleeces rejected. So what sort of distribution does x have? Is it discrete or continuous? Pause the video and write down which distribution you think it is. It is discrete because we're counting in whole numbers. So either binomial or plus on. Binomial if it's out of a fixed number of trials. Plus on if we're counting occurrences within a specific interval. Well this one um, is out of a, it's out of a fixed number of trials, isn't it? Okay, each batch has 50 fleeces, isn't it? So it must be binomial. Always write down the distribution name that you're going to use to model it with the binomial. Now, parameters. What are the parameters of a binomial distribution? If you're not sure, they're the things you type into your calculator along with the x value. So the parameters are the number of trials and the probability of success in each trial. Okay, so there's two questions kind of hidden in here, aren't there? Firstly, the first one is about three fleeces being rejected within a batch. And then there's the fact that there's two separate batches. When you get a complicated problem, Always try and break it into steps and solve a simpler problem first. So what's the first kind of event we're being asked about here, folks? Well, the first event we're being asked about is what's got to happen is three fleeces have got to be rejected in one batch, okay? So if we just focus on one batch at a time, and whenever you get a, a, a what I call a combined events question like this, combined events means that we're dealing with two separate batches, always start with one event first, okay? Work it out for one event before you worry about the two events. Have a go from here if you like. Pause it. Okay, so in one event, one batch of 50, that means the number of trials in that batch equals 50. So 50 fleeces. That contextual language, remembering to write fleeces, is really important. What Within that, uh, that batch of 50 fleeces, what's the probability of a fleece being rejected? Well, it's 4.8%, isn't it? So, 0.048. Got to remember that zero. Okay, so that's our parameters. And this is for one batch of 50. So, in one batch of 50, the probability that exactly three are rejected, so x equals three, is going to be the binomial probability using n equals 50 and p equals 0.048. So, calculator out. And it's going to be menu stat. Distribution, binomial, and is it PD or CD? Particular value or a range of values? It's a particular value because it's x equals 3 projected, so it's PD. I could use the formula if I want. I'm just a bit too lazy today. Um, and so I'm going to go into, it reverts to list, so I've got to change that to variable, F2. Remember, it will do that to you in the exam at the end of the year because they'll reset your calculator. It'll say list and you'll have to change it to variable. X is how many? Three. Okay. Number of trials equals 50. And probability of success or rejection in each trial equals 0 0.048. And execute. And we get 0 0.2147 I'm not going to round it just yet because it's not my final answer. I haven't finished yet. Okay. So now let's read the question again. Find the probability that exactly three fleeces are rejected in each of two separate batches of 50 fleeces from different farms stating any assumptions you make. So there's another verb in there, isn't there? And that is um, stating any assumptions you make. So you've got to remember that. There'll be a mark for that. Okay, so um, for, two for two batches. Okay, so 
when you've got two events, and we're going to assume those two events are independent, so the events of the batches are 50. Independence um, is because different farms, so we assume that one has no effect on the other. So we better write that down there actually. So for two batches, for two batches of 50, assuming the occurrence of defects is independent between the two batches, which is reasonable considering they're from different farms. Notice my use of context here, really important that you don't just quote rules you've learned from your teacher. You won't get any marks for that. When you're talking about assumptions, you've got to use language from that question about batches and farms and fleeces. Okay, so for two batches of 50, assuming occurrence is of defects is independent between the two batches, different farms, then the probability that we get exactly three defects on both farms, so in both batches, in both batches, batches, equals, now for two independent batches, let's take an example of when you flip a coin, when you flip another coin as well. So if you flip two independent coins, and the question is, what's the probability that in each of those coins you get tails? Well, the probability you get tails in the first coin is 0.5, isn't it? Or one half. And then, then you flip a coin again, and it's a, it's a separate coin, so it's independent. What's the probability of getting tails on the second coin? Well, it's still a half, isn't it? Okay, so to get... Um, to get tails twice, what's the probability of that happening? Well, we know that in that case there's four equally likely outcomes. So the probability of getting tails twice, so of means times, if the events are independent, we simply multiply the probabilities. So this time instead of coins, and instead of looking at the probability of getting tails on two of independent coins, this time the coins are being replaced by batches batches of 50 fleeces and instead of tails our event is the probability that there's exactly three defects in each batch so the probability of that happening in two independent batches means we're going to times that by itself or we're going to square it because the, we're assuming the batches are independent so probability x equals three in both batches equals probability x equals three in one batch squared so now we're going to substitute in this number to get 0 0.2147 etc squared, work it into our calculator, like so, and this must be our answer. And now we can round it because we're at the end. So 0 0.04611 to four significant figures, like so. And we can check the marking schedule. Let's have a look. So here it is, question 3b. So binomial distribution, had to give the parameters and the probability for an individual trial. Calculate one batch first, like we did. And for both batches, get the answer. The assumption was independence, and we wrote that down. So it was out of merit for achieved is just the calculation of probability for one batch. For merit, you needed the calculation of combined probability, so squaring it and statement of independence as well. Always remember to check the fine print. See you later. To practice more of these, look up your concept map. This one here. We're looking at the mirror row. So under binomial, it says justify why you've chosen to use binomial. Name properties of binomial distribution. International Fight Club 2 is a way to remember that context and so on. Calculate binomial probabilities of combined events. So that's what we just did. So example is two people each toss a coin 10 times. What's the probability they both roll at least six tails? Or that we get three rejected fleeces and two independent batches of 50. That's what we just did. And to practice more of those, New Lake, page 20 and 21. Definitely worth doing. They come up every year. See you later.